Welcome to my studio. Today I will demonstrate how to install and use the Structurizer extension within Visual Studio Code on a desktop personal computer running the Microsoft Windows 10 operating system. This extension enables the rendering of text files into graphical diagrams. It is also a powerful text modeling tool which enables design and maintenance of domain-specific language, for example, on time of software design. Step 1. Set up a dedicated profile in Visual Studio Code. First, create a new folder on your local disk to store all data related to st structure user diagrams. I have chosen for that purpose the same folder wh where I store all the data which I share with my GitHub account. So, in uh, my <coughs> file manager, which is Total Commander, I press F7, F7 to create Structurizer folder. I enter that folder and uh, now I press keyboard shortcut Ctrl P, which uh, prepares full path to that old folder. I press cursor to the right to mark this text string and now I copy it to the clipboard with Ctrl plus X keyboard shortcut. Now I switch into Visual Studio Code. Uh, here I will create a new profile that dedicated to st Structurizer. Click the gear icon in the bottom left corner. Select Profile Default from the menu. Then choose Profiles. Click New Profile button. In the Name text field enter the text string Structurizer. OK. This step is not mandatory, but it is good to select a profile icon. I will choose, for example, that one. Um, now in the content area, this, this step is not mandatory, but I would like to keep my existing keyboard shortcuts. So I press the default button and now I click into the, the, the create button. What changed the view of this screen and now we have available additional button add folder. I click it and here in the folder text field I paste the content of the clipboard which is path to previously created folder. So I click add folder. Now whenever you choose file open folder in, in the Visual Studio Code menu and specify that folder, the structure reserve profile will be applied automatically. Let's do that. So I close the profiles tab. I choose file open folder. In the folder text field I paste the content of the clipboard and click the select folder. And as you could see, after displaying the welcome screen which I close, we see the newly applied icon and the folder content is empty in the Explorer. Step 2. Install the Structurizer extensions in Visual Studio Code. So, I switch into the Extensions tab. I minimize the Recommended and Popular. And as you can see, there are no installed 
extensions at the moment as the displayed value is equal to zero. Now in the search field I enter stru structure structure user file name um, text string and here I see C4 DSL extension which I mark and click the install button and it's ready to go now knowing how this extension works I want to install also plant UML extension in this profile plant UML uh, so that one coming from G J E B B S I press install reminder for plant UML extension to run locally on your PC it is necessary to install the Java runtime environment look into the description under this video to watch my other video showing process of installation in details and additionally I need to install also I, I, I'd like to install also mermaid extension that one mermaid editor so I again press the install button now it's ready so I clear the search field and see that, that at the moment all three extensions are, are installed mm. now open and leave opened settings of the C4 DSL extension Step 3. Check the C4 DSL extension local rendering. Um, select and copy one of the structure user code example into the clipboard. So I switch now to the web browser structureraser.com web page and head to demo sub page. Now set cursor in the code area mark all the content with control plus a keyboard shortcut and copy it into clipboard with control plus c keyboard shortcut now switch into visual studio code create a new file with .dsl extension in the explorer so i press new file first dot dsl enter control v to paste the content of the clipboard into the active editor file note that in the views section of dsl file there is now visible label show as plant uml di diagram after pressing with a mouse button nothing happens now let's save this file and switch to the settings as you can see by default what means just after installation with default settings there is no preview button in the graphical user interface when i set the cursor somewhere in the views section and call the context menu by pressing right mouse button I can see in the menu option export views to plant UML but when I press it again nothing happens let's now switch into the settings here in the area C4 export plant UML directory there is text string dot slash export 
Unfortunately, I wasn't able, ever able to make use of this default setting. So I create the subfolder by myself in the explorer view folder. Plant UML. And now. So here I need to enter full path to that folder. So I quickly generate the path, copy it here, and now let's let's tr try again. Export the views to plant UML. Let's restart the Visual Studio Code and reopen it. And again, we are now awaiting to see that server C4 DSL socket server is ready. It's starting up, it's set to ready. I call again context menu, press export, and this time two plant UML files were generated. Now, when I press one of them, I see the preview button, preview icon, and pr processing takes place locally. This is the first file, and the second file. Let's close the preview. Let's open the second file, and press the preview again. Here it is. So as you can see, this is process at first of generating plant UML files and then displaying or previewing them separately. Step four, alternative external rendering over the structure user web page. So now let's close the plant UML file and also the preview tab. Let's switch into the settings of the C4 DSL extension and now let's change the renderer into Structurizer Disable plant UML and enable structure user. Okay, so now in the text file in the area dedicated to labels. In the views section, we still see show as plant UML diagram. It looks like the changes were not applied yet. So I close Visual Studio Code, reopen it again. And again, we are awaiting for the message visible in the bottom right corner that server C4 DSL language server is ready. And now we can see that label displayed in the area of views changed into show as structure reserve diagram. Let's press it with left mouse button click. 
and now as you can see the diagram is rendered and it is rendered externally over the structure reserve web page. Let's try with the second diagram. And yeah, as you can see, it works. Step five, alternative external rendering over the DD Mermaid. So I close the structure reserve preview. I switch into the settings. Here in the settings, I change diagram renderer setting into mermaid. I disable structure reserve enable and mark the tick mermaid enabled. I switch to the first DSL. The change was not yet applied. So I close the code, Visual Studio Code, reopen it. Again, wait for, I wait for starting the C4 DSL server. Okay, the server is ready show as mermaid diagram label is displayed in the views section of the text file i click it and the mermaid preview is now available let's check the second diagram it looks a, a little bit different as you could see That concludes this video. Thank you for your time and watching. Now please give a thumb up to this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if, if you have found it useful. Thank you. Bye.